I saw on a forum post uh, yesterday that somebody was asking, can Factory Talk View Machine Edition graphics be brought into Factory Talk uh, View SE? And I was surprised because since version one, it's been able to do that. As a matter of fact, before Factory Talk View, back when it was Iris View Enterprise, before that was even released, there was this whole concept of View Anywhere. I get some all the View Anywhere flyers and data disks and product launchers. And the whole idea was design a project once and de deploy it anywhere. Small screen, SCADA system, that was a View Anywhere. Well, something happened between the marketing and the final product, and it turned out that the View Anywhere turned out to be you can develop it in View Machine Edition and migrate it to View Site Edition. That's always worked. A couple other things too. View Machine Edition has always been able to input Panel Builder E, Panel Builder 32 projects. And uh, View Site Edition has also always been able to import not only Machine Edition, but RS View 32 projects. And uh, originally, not a lot of people did that because Factor Talk View, the graphics were very slow. View 32, on the other hand, the graphics were extremely fast. As a matter of fact, it was so fast that I actually developed the Space Invaders instead of V32. And uh, a great bottling demo, which Rockwell happened to borrow for about a decade. Kind of surprised me when I saw it at Automation Fair back in the mid-2000s. But um, bad Rockwell. You should not borrow things without asking. In any case, I digress. So what I want to do today is I want to show you how to use... Factory Talk View SE to import Factory Talk View ME projects. It's super easy, been in the, been in the product since day one. And uh, so let me see if I can't switch over to my VMware. And you can see I got uh, Factory Talk View up, but let's see here. I wanna go over to his machine edition. And what I have open is this is one of the original demos. It's the objects five screen demo. This is designed so that you have a sample project you can use with the demo. So if you get a temporary activation or if you had one of the old demo disks, the CDs, um, what would happen is the demo version of Studio will run with, uh, there's no tag limit because there's no tags needed. So it would run with up to five screens for up to two hours. So screens being graphic displays. And um, so that I opened that one up and I actually have it running here. I'll Alt-Tab over to it, and here you can see the runtime running. Now, this will only run for a couple hours before it shuts down. And uh, so I want to go through here and just kind of show you how things work. Now, you're going to notice a slight delay here. Unfortunately, um, a lot of the uh, displays in this uh, example are set to a one-second update. You never want to set. This is one of the things I teach my students in both my courses on the Panel View Plus and VOSC. You never want to set them to one second. That's way too slow. But I did want to give you an idea of how these um, demo screens work before we go ahead and import it into Factory Talk View SE. So um, you can just see what's going on there. Now, something I had forgotten when I did my trial run on this is that before I import this project into Factory Talk View SE, I got to close down the runtime. And I'm just going to close down the project too, just in case. So let me go ahead and do that here. And I'll do that here. And I already have Factory Talk View Studio open in the background, and I will choose View SE, Standalone, yeah, Station, Continue. And this text is pretty small, so I'm going to put on my cheaters. And we're going to choose New. And here I'm going to name the application ATT005, because this is a fifth tech tip. And I'm going to choose Import here. And now when I do that, I get this warning about some older versions. I'm going to click OK, and then next we'll see that I have different options to bring in. So I could do an RSV32 project. I could do a file folder of an ME project, like if they hadn't backed it up as an APA and then restored it, they only had the folder. I can actually do the ME application. If I have the application, if I developed it on this system, or if I uh, restored an APA or MER here. And then the final option down here is if I have a file folder of supervisory edition. Now, you can also use the application manager to copy or duplicate your SE uh, project. So that would be better if you actually had the actual project itself and not just a file folder full of the files. So with that, let's go ahead and click on application and next. And I'm gonna click on the object five screen demo and click on next. And now if I hadn't closed the runtime, this is where I get an error that I can't access the tags. So I have to have that closed. I um, also closed the Factor Talk View Studio so there was no conflicts. So, um, that application is completely closed and now it's being imported into View SE. 
and it's actually going to look pretty good. And um, that was by design back to the first, very first version of the software. This feature was in it. So what I'm going to do here is speed up the video a little bit. Okay, so that, that's done. Let's look at the displays here inside of Factory Talk View SC. And yeah, they look pretty much the same. Now I know numeric inputs are quite different in Factory Talk View SC. And uh, that's one of the big places you'll see a difference. The coloring is handled on a display basis, not on an object basis. So that's one of the things I always noticed. Um, and again, as we talked about earlier, there are some new features in ME that didn't uh, immediately show up in SE. So depending on what version you're running, some things may not come in. But overall, everything comes in great. Now, I also believe, if memory serves me correctly, that if you um, open up an ME project, you can drag stuff from that ME project to SE. You don't have to do a complete import. So we'll choose the Instant Fizz product and uh, open that up and see if we can copy and paste things from that into SE. Okay, so let me use this feature here to split them. Excellent. Okay, now let's try some drag and drop here. So I have this uh, security screen here. Whoop, it's a little pop-up. So let me grab this uh, security screen here and I'll drag it over. Will it let me drop it? Well, it's saying it's not. Let me drop it anyways. Oh, and it went in. Look at that. Okay. Oh, no images. Right? Because I didn't bring in the images. So even though it gives you that international symbol for can't do it, it still works, which is very interesting. Here's a filling screen here. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> this is my filler. So um, they've modified it slightly, but some of these original graphics are mine. So let's go ahead and take that fill in screen and drop it over here. And yeah, it came in. Okay, and you can see again, let me go full screen with this guy here. You can see that uh, my retrofitted filler that Rock was using in their demo stew, you see the graphic that was in the background is not there because we hadn't brought that into SE, okay? So, you, I believe you can bring those in too. Let's see if we can do this again. Go to, not global objects, I wanted to go to images. And uh, this is a machine edition image of a drive. So we'll bring it, see if it'll come into here. And yep, it does. Okay. So just so you know, this is site edition. And this is machine edition. So even though you get that symbol that says you can't do it, you can drag and drop as well as import an entire project. And these features, my memory tells me this goes back to day one. So I was, again, a little surprised when I saw that posting, but I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, create a tech tip on that feature of Factory Talk View Studio Machine Edition and Site Edition. And I want to wish you all a very safe, happy, and healthy week. And until next time, my friends, Peace.